If you're watching this video, you probably already have a pretty good idea of what an audit log is. But you might be surprised you'll learn a few things about what an audit log is for FileMaker. So watch this couple of minute video and it'll help you with the rest of the series here. So I looked it up on the internet to find out what an audit log was, in general, not to a database, but in just in IT technology systems, as it says here. So I'll just read it to you. I don't really like reading off the slides. I try to not do it. I don't even like slides, period, at all, but sometimes I'm forced to use them, and I'm just going to read this to make sure you understand what it says. So it says an audit log is a document that records an event in an information technology system, IT. In addition to documenting what resources were accessed, audit log entries usually include destination and source, addresses, a timestamp, and user login information. So that doesn't totally apply to FileMaker. It's a little bit different what we're going to store, but let's go ahead and look at the definition for FileMaker. So every time a field is modified, we're going to create a record in a table and store pertinent information to track user history. Now, not all of the audit logs actually make records in a table, but that's the ideal right there because once you have data in a record, you can manipulate it. That's what makes a database powerful is having a record. You can sort it, you can find it, you can do all kinds of things. Records are the building blocks of a database. So ideally, you want to get all of your or each modification into an, a new record. So if you modify the same field three times, there's going to be three records in that audit table. So what should we store? Well, we want a timestamp, which is the date and the time. We want the account who's logged on, who made the change, so we can see who did it. We want the starting field value and the ending field value. We want to know what table that was done in, and we want a primary key from the table where that change was made so we can connect the audit table back to that table, and we'll see how to do that as well. So there's what it means to be an audit log in FileMaker, or at least the way I see it.